What's up? How's everybody doing? Patty here. I literally just got back from Aruba and I took a ton of photos there on Kodak Portrait 160, which is what I'm going to be talking about in this video. But before that, I just want to show you a little bit of my, you know, my quick recap of what happened in Aruba. Anyways, Kodak Portra 160 in Aruba. The reason why I went with this film stock is because it's cheaper than the Portra 400, but also because Aruba is a bright and sunny island, so an ISO 160 film is good enough for me. Even during sunrises and sunset, this film stock does pretty well. Not a lot of people are a fan of this film stock, but I love it. As usual, the camera body I use is the Nikon F6, shooting at aperture priority and shooting the Portra 160 at box speed the entire time I was in Aruba. The lens I was using was the Nikkor 28 to 300 super zoom lens it's also got a vr feature which stands for vibration reduction the next day we were visiting this little beach at a national park called boca prince where we were shooting during the harshest lighting available on top of that i was using a light mist diffusion filter from polar pro to give me the dreamy results i wanted as you can see the portrait 160 gave amazing results for this kind of lighting as this film stock is sort of designed for lighting conditions like these but on top of that i was also using matrix metering mode on nikon f6 which is a built-in 3d color matrix light meter later in the day we took some more sunset photos but this one is a bit different from the first day which were the previous photos i showed you it's different because this time we had some cloud coverage in the sky so it wasn't the ideal kind of sunset i wanted but the results i got weren't that bad the next day i tried my luck again shooting at before and during sunset hoping there were no clouds and indeed there were no clouds so i was pretty happy with the results i got the first location was at manchabo beach which were taken just before golden hour second location was at Malmok Beach which were taken during golden hour and I'm really happy with the results I got with Portra 160. The next day at really early in the morning we drove east to the island towards the natural pool. This was also a perfect opportunity for me to take a couple photos during the sunrise. The sun was a bit covered by the clouds during this time so the results I got were similar to the ones earlier where we had clouds blocking the sun during golden hour. But I'm still happy with the results I got even though this was more of like a moody type of vibe. Afterwards, we took a couple photos at the natural pool. It was challenging to hike towards there, but the landscape was very interesting. On the day before our departure, we went on a catamaran to enjoy our time in the ocean, but this one was different. I actually loaded in a roll of Portra 400 into my little point and shoot camera because I ran out of Portra 160, but luckily I brought a few Portra 400s just in case. Everything was shot at automatic with this camera because that's what point and shoot film cameras do, they shoot automatic. Except for maybe a few compact film cameras out there where you can control the aperture or shutter speeds that you want to shoot at, but those type of point and shoot cameras are like thousands of dollars on eBay. This one I got with me, which is one of Nikon's last generation point and shoot film cameras before they went digital. I got this camera on eBay for around 60 US dollars. And last 
lastly, I also brought a Kodak waterproof disposable camera just for fun. I hope you guys enjoyed my Aruba photos. If you did, please leave a like, drop a comment. I also have merch available in the description below. If you'd like to support me, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe. See you next time.